one of the methods we use to make sure we communicate our ideas and concepts as clearly as possible is illustration. We have trained UX illustrators on our research team and we try to use them whenever we need to explain concepts to users or explain ideas based on user needs back to designers and product teams. Um, in other words, we mostly use this technique in the early stages of a design process. I'm a UX illustrator and my job is to capture what people are saying in words and transform that into a visual representation that everyone can look at and immediately understand. It means I have to understand what people are saying in the first place, so the illustrations sometimes need to be iterative. The drawings actually help people to express themselves as they get around vocabulary and the different ways we all use language. Illustrators are a great resource when you need to prepare materials for research with users or a workshop with designers and other stakeholders. This technique can be used to turn a verbal discussion or a set of questions into something more visual and engaging, especially if you don't have enough time to create more high fidelity stimulus and materials. You can create any type of illustrations or interactive game you need for your workshops and research sessions this way, making them more interesting and getting more accurate data. Often, when we are not testing a specific user interface design, we don't have anything specific to show and we try to tease out what people want or expect through a verbal discussion. This happens during early user requirements and conceptual design research. Sometimes it's too early for screen mockups, but we can use UX illustrators to visualise ideas and concepts so that it's possible to get insightful and meaningful feedback from users. We were running some research to get a feel for what features users would want in the next release of a product. We created a prioritisation game, similar to a card sort, but instead of words on each card we had little illustrations. They were various features that were being considered. This one is for a turn-by-turn -turn navigation feature. And this one is to allow users to find parking spaces on a map. We had about 20 in total. It really helped to engage the users and ensure they had some grasp of what the feature on offer was, so they could discuss them and select the most valuable ones. It wouldn't have made sense to create more detailed screen mockups of every single feature, and there just wasn't time for this. It also helped to avoid trying to describe the feature in detail verbally, where every word could bias the result one way or the other. During early requirements gathering, research users will be expressing their ideas and expectations about how a product will work and what features it will have. Often, we scribble these down in our notes, but now we find it more valuable to include a UX illustrator. They capture the ideas in visual form and then show them back to the users to check if we've understood exactly as they intended. This has many benefits. Firstly, we leave a session of good quality visual concepts and illustrations that can be immediately used to communicate and inspire. Secondly, we can use the shared visual representation to make sure we don't misinterpret anything. Some users are not great at explaining their needs. Lastly, having the illustration there for the users to immediately feed back on provides a stimulus for exploring the idea further and can serve as a springboard to even better ideas. Illustration can be used to capture ideas and research data in visual form in real time. The same technique can be used to produce visual minutes from a stakeholder workshop or any other type of session where ideas and requirements are being discussed. Seeing the outputs visualised helps to ensure everyone is on the same page. These drawings can be used instead of regular notes. I've been involved as a UX illustrator during focus groups, co-creation workshops, lab-based requirements interviews and ethnographic research. Lastly, illustration can be used as part of the analysis and reporting process to visualise and communicate the findings better. 
When creating a report for a usability test, we have UI screenshots to show what we are referring to. They say a picture says a thousand words. This is a real benefit for research deliverables as a thousand words will put even the most diligent of stakeholders off. What about much earlier in the design process? When it's a user requirement or idea, there is often nothing really made. But we want to make sure we are being very clear and unambiguous. You can use illustrators to make your reports more visual and engaging. You can use them to create visual representations of key ideas and concepts to get the message across where it would not be appropriate to create a set of wireframes yet. In one case, we wanted to go beyond a standard report and presentation, and the client wanted something that remained for a long time and have a lot of impact. We illustrated the product strategy. We illustrated a specific user scenarios. We also illustrated the various parts of the end-to-end -end user experience. All of these included new ideas based on the research we did. I believe this book is still being used by the product teams and executive decision makers. I always like to show the end-to-end -end experience of a product before I go into the details of what is going wrong and what the designers should change. Our UX illustrators are great at helping me to quickly map out the overall user journey. Here is one for a huge retail store that was trying to align the online and offline channel. It shows the two main goals users have when they arrive on the site and where they are likely to head to first. It shows where the main issues and barriers are. It shows how the online experience is linked to visits to the offline store and why it's not quite working as expected. If we have analytics data, we can also lay some of that information over the top of this. To be a UX illustrator, you don't need to be a UX professional to start off with. I joined the team because they were looking for someone with strong illustration skills. Apart from that, you just need to be able to sketch quickly and be a good visual thinker. Those are just some of the ways illustration can help you to experience researchers communicate better. We find it particularly valuable as many of the ideas and concepts we work with are not easy to explain in words and can easily be misunderstood. Mm -hmm.